Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at these two gelled products today which really tie in with each other but you can buy them separately. First of all we've got the tri-colour LED ring light which is ideal for lighting up rooms or people within a room which obviously you wanted to use for streaming video and pictures for example a bit like studio lights we've got in here. On top of that we've got the tripod what it would sit on top of you can stick this on a different tripod and you can basically use a different light on the tripod if you wanted, obviously if they've got the right connections. Uh, but the retail prices of these are roughly 19 US dollars and 6 US dollars. They are available in Europe as well. We do have links in the description below if you are interested, so feel free to click them right down here. Okay, so we've got the gelled or is it gelled solutions Lux tricolor LED ring light. As you can see, it's a light, it's got a smartphone holder in the center. This bit here is an extra, you have to buy the tripod it stands on separately, unless you've got a tripod or device you can hook it up to as well. You can also buy some clamp holders as well, so you can attach a clamp to, I don't know, well, anything what you can attach your clamp to, so a pole or whatever, and then attach a light to that. Uh, perfect light source for streaming, podcasts, visual me uh, meetings, webinars, selfies, photography, 10 brightness levels, and free light temperatures, so that's warm, daylight, and cool to fit your needs. So let's have a look on the side. It says live podcast, virtual meeting, webinar, selfie, video. Uh, the other side says tricolor light, flexible phone holder, and suction cup desktop stand. So you could actually stick it on a desktop as well. So it says glow your workspace, shine bright, and make it professional. Blah 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 blah. It's basically a light. What's a circle where you can attach your phone? Okay, so let's open this up and have a look at what we've got. Okay, this is what's in the box. We've got the manual, says tricolor LED light, blah, blah, blah. Instructions, tells you about the controls, how to mount it, uh, as well as put it on the stand and everything like that, and as well limited warranty and so forth. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. This bit here is a ball socket. Um, it screws into something like a tripod or another device, so it allows you to angle the actual light to your well, specifications and needs. This bit here is what attaches to the light in the center. That's where you just screw it in like that again. It has got a ball angle mount on the back so you can adjust which way it points and how it points. And then you attach your phone onto there, for example, like that. Oh, look, you can see what we're doing. Whee, it's like magic. Anyway, so you attach that onto there and then you've got this suction pad which you just screw onto the bottom and that will attach that to, well, suction it to a table or something along that lines, depending on how you want it. Obviously, it's not gonna do too much of a good a job at the moment, so I've still got the stickers on the bottom. It gives you a rough idea. The cable on the actual device is two meters long exactly. It does have the inline controller, so you've got power. Sorry if this, bright, uh, this brightness blinds you. But there you go, that's the light brightness coming on. As you can see, the camera is adjusting itself because of the huge amount of bright light going into it at the moment. So you do have brightness down and up, so you can adjust how bright you've got it. There you go, the camera's coming back in focus because it's a lot duller now. And then you are able to change the colouring as well. It might not be as obvious on the uh, screen, but that's more of a white light. It may look a little bit bluish slightly. The next one is more of an orange light, and then you've got the mixture of lights, which is more like a daylight effect. But again, it's up to you which you prefer. You might prefer the white light, you might prefer the orange, you may prefer the mixture of the two, and adjust the brightness. Uh, it's two meters long. Some tips I would advise if you're gonna be using something like this, because I've used them in the studio, and if you're new to it, is not having them too close to your face, especially if you wear glasses or anything along that lines 
because the ring will reflect off your glasses and it'll look like you've got a big ring on, on your lenses when you're actually filming, uh, which can be a bit of a pain. I don't wear glasses, but I've seen many people have issues with them. Um, also, if you've got it too close, it can make your features look a bit too coarse. If you move it away from you a little bit, it, you will find it'll smooth out your features a bit more and it looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye, let's put it that way. But that gives you a rough idea, so the basic is you stand it up, point it at you, press record on your phone and record yourself doing your streaming or whatever it is you're going to be doing. Okay, so let's have a look at the Gelid Solution extendable tripod box. As you can see, there is a picture of it on the actual, well, box, so you can actually see what it's going to look like. Uh, it does have a light at the top, which is supposed to be the Lux Tricolor LED ring light, which is sold separately. And unfortunately, we don't have this to test, but we'll test it with another light just to see how the stand holds up. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, on the sides, we just see their logo, not much information. Then on the back, you have got the specifications there. So it does say the color is uh, black. Um, the dimensions in centimeters is 6 by 6 by 67.5 and that's collapsed But when you have got it extended, it's 55 by 55 by 185 centimeters So nearly 2 meters high, so it's quite actually high uh, Materials is metal and plastic, uh, as it says, max height 185 uh, and the mount type, that's the screw at the top, so you'll need to know that because obviously the device you're going to screw it into needs to take the quarter inch screw. And the weight is 0 0.55 kilo. So otherwise, that's pretty much it for the box. Okay, so inside the box, this is all that you've got. So there's no instructions or anything else, but in all honesty, do you really need them? So just to give you a rough idea and have a look what it is, first of all, you've got your cap here, which covers the screw hole. That's what you're gonna screw onto your light or whatever else you're gonna use on this. It is extendable, so you have to basically undo these screws here and it extends the pole. A little bit more. There you go. It's quite tight, so that means it's going to be probably pretty sturdy. And as you can see, it extends quite a bit. And then you've got another one to extend it even more, which is there. And that extends that, that bit out as well. So as you can see, it gives you quite a bit of length. And as I said, 1.85 metres. So that's 185 centimetres, or not far off, 2 metres tall. So that's pretty good. The bottom, again, does have one of those little things you can turn. That allows you to pull the legs out. So just pull outwards. It can be a little bit fiddly. And then the centre part pops down and once you've got it into position you just tighten it up we'll obviously show you this uh, on the floor in a few seconds so you can actually see it a little bit better but it gives you a rough idea so it's pretty straightforward in all honesty we've used uh, not this brand but similar ones which look pretty much identical to this before and use them for our light stands in our studio Okay, so this is the stand. It's pretty simple. First of all, you've got the base here. As we said, you've got this bit where you can turn around, which will allow you to loosen this up, and then you can pull the legs out and adjust them to how you want, which will then obviously allow you to put a bit of weight on it without it toppling over, and then tighten it back up when you're happy with how you've got it. So it'll sit on the floor pretty nice. Uh, then you've got the two more of those things you can turn on the actual pole which will allow you to extend each section of the pole so you can make it taller or as tall pretty much as you want and when you've got it into that size you then tighten it back up so it's pretty straightforward um, but one thing you will note um, is the taller you have it, the slightly more unstable it will be. Uh, but generally, if you're putting a light on it and you're not doing anything else, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. 